Garrett's <laughs> grumpy! <laughs> right! We're <laughs> live! The king of the kitchen goose! Man, where'd kitchen you come goose. up with that name, kitchen goose? Why, why, what, why, uh, where, where do you come to, oh, oh, I see, did you have a farm you said was what, with sheep? Oh, no, I, uh, my, 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 uh, uh, my ancestors had, had farms with, uh, goats. And goats, the goose okay. Is, uh, the goose is, uh, the goose is loose, and, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a nifty clever gadget that uh, you know scrambles an egg inside the shell uses centrifugal force and uh, it's uh, it's pretty fascinating. But I um, uh, came up with the idea actually around uh, around um, around Easter last year, uh. which is why which is why I wanted to make the Easter deadline this year. Ah, uh, I see, right? Yeah, and uh, basically there was a YouTube video online of a guy scrambling an egg in his shirt sleeve and it got nine million <laughs> you mean okay. like by putting it in and scrambling yeah. within the within the shell scrambling it within the, shell, the shell in his shirt sleeve i yeah. see he, he nine like a, million a so you said there's a market there man <laughs> we I, I well no i didn't even i never planned to make a product i just I oh. saw the video and i was like I tried to make an egg in a shirt sleeve, and I broke every egg in my refrigerator, and I ruined my girlfriend's nylons, and I tore the sleeve off the shirt, and, uh, and I, I stayed up till like four in the morning, okay? I couldn't do it. I tried and tried and tried. I boiled them. They didn't work. And uh, and so then the next day, you know, I thought, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna like figure out a way to make this work. Ah, so I started I prototypes the very next day. No you know, kidding. We crude prototypes like shoestrings and things, right. and, and napkins stuffed into cans. And, <laughs> and, uh, and I, even, I was able, you know, that day, the next day, to actually get one. And I got one, and I pulled it. And I was like, this is pretty cool. Okay, so I did it, and I was like, all right, whatever, you know. And then I was, uh, and then I started doing work on some for a, a potential client for in, in the kitchen category, and I was, uh, I was, I was just looking around the 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 internet for like competitive products and stuff like that, and 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 I realized there's nothing to scramble an egg inside of a shell. <laughs> Nobody so, did this yet. <laughs> yeah, so like I'm gonna make one, you know. Um, All we have is the guy with the sleeves. <laughs> yeah, the guy with, you know, I'm like I can make this easier, so why not? I'll use wow. the scientific process, you know, and use design and and make one that works works well. So now you're you're a product designer, right? Uh, that's so. your background, and you have your uh, own little company now. But you were work doing product design and development for large consumer products and other people for many years, right? Yeah, I actually I worked primarily for for one large corporation uh -huh. um, that uh, that owned a bunch of smaller companies, and so I worked for the office or for the business unit that serviced all these smaller companies. Ah, so, I see. So I right. had the opportunity to work on a huge Different, variety right. of products, but within one company. Um, and before that, I was in you know advertising and mm -hmm. um, marketing and, and design. But still, stuff. I mean, you see the the, the, the cost that costs you know these companies to come out with it, just develop a new product and get it manufactured and all that. What well, was horrendous, I guess. You know, and you can only be a big company to do that. But now you don't have to, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, now you can you can you can build your story and fund your project right there on Kickstarter or any other crowdfunding platform, and uh, and uh, there are all these tools, like you said, the internet and 3D mm -hmm. printing and uh, Amazon. Amazon will do your you know your logistics and your shipping and your payments processing. <laughs> everything's so available now and instantaneous that there's just no reason for someone who who feel is entrepreneurial and wants to take a risk and is creative there's no reason that they can't uh, uh be successful on so you own. don't have to go get dressed in a coat and tie every day and go to that office and uh, you no. can't wait to leave at three o'clock you stay home and figure it out yourself because it's yeah. all on the internet huh? yeah they can they can work for themselves and and unfortunately never stop working <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you work more, a lot more, but but I mean to me that's right. I don't know why we have a culture that everybody wants the life easy, but I think it's because they hate what they do, you know, so they don't want to do it. But if you love what you do, man, you know, like if you're a golfer, you want to play eighty thousand holes a day, right? So if yeah. you find something work you want to do, you want to do that till you die. <laughs> you know, 
I there's there's a book I think called the Four Hour Work Week. Uh huh. You know I haven't read it, but I read the title and I'm gonna <laughs> read. It. I'm gonna read it because it looks, it looks pretty good. Yeah. But um, I don't know if it. I, I can't imagine working a four hour Whoa. work week. I don't Whoa. think I'd be successful. But I will agree 100 percent with what you said, and that is, uh, you know, if you like what you do, then nothing's hard. Yeah, it's nothing's not work. Hard to do yeah. If you're enjoying what yeah. you do. But see, to me, then I, I think the thing of life too is like. Not to be easy, because if you're if it's easy, like playing basketball against a five year old, you're gonna beat sure. that sucker every day. You know, that's, that's easy. <laughs> so, that's not a fun life. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it's stupid to be easy. You want something that challenges you, and, yeah. and but challenges you in what you want to do, not what somebody else wants to do. Absolutely, and there's a big difference between um, outside pressure and uh -huh. and being outside of your comfort zone too far. And mm -hmm. being challenged just ahead of what you're capable right. of doing, right. and and then the the motivation comes from the inside rather than pressure from the outside. Right. And, and and if you can figure out how to uh, deal with the stress of the pressure coming from the outside and continue feeding your energy with the uh, uh, motivation from the inside, inside then yeah. you're in a good spot. You know, oh, you're, you're doing cost. yoga already, huh? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> No, I believe because I think that's where a lot of our health problems come from. We have all this pressure we tear around that people are throwing on us, yeah, and it must screw up the inside somehow. But mainly, uh, uh, more importantly, you got a hundred thousand dollars already, and you're not even finished, <laughs> and you're kicked on it. People love, love the, the gold, the kitchen goose. I mean, wow. It's it's absolutely astounding. It's a phenomenon. Like nobody, nobody could have guessed. None of my friends or, <laughs> or anybody would have ever thought. See? We would have never thought that this was going to happen or even possible. So it really is. Uh, I mean, it's it's amazing, and we're really grateful for it. And we're just we're kind of like in disbelief right now. Fingers <laughs> crossed. I think I'm dreaming. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> is this going to be a real either. check they're going to send me, or is yeah, somebody like, going to pull that rug out and ah, uh, April Fool? Yeah. Like, they'll turn off the money faucet. Yeah. Yeah. It's great because it's uh, it's gonna the the funding the overfunding. I mean, we have to ship a lot more product, obviously. Yeah. But the overfunding is gonna gonna help us, you know, take care of all the things we didn't yeah. think of yet. You know what I mean? Because there's always little problems that crop up here and there, right. and then yeah. there's oh, there are a lot always... of people that come into play along the right. way. So I think <laughs> having a little bit of extra buffer is oh shipping, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Everything's always more than you think it is. Uh, but also, I think it, it gives you the, uh, the satisfaction of okay, you have something people want, you know, and that's the only way you found out. I mean, going to your friends, who cares if they want it? They're probably not going to buy it anyway, you know. <laughs> what, 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 you know, going on the internet and, and showing it to people, now you're guaranteed almost of a success. I mean, you, you have your market study over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that's the, I mean, that's the brilliant part about Kickstarter is, I mean, I have very good data now and, uh -huh. and comments and user feedback and suggestions yeah. and everything that, uh, you know, big corporations pay big bucks to, right. to, to try and get, and I got it all for free. Right. And plus, they're my customers. <laughs> right. Know. You got 3,500 people giving you money. Yeah, really <laughs> That's money the only thing. Yeah. So far. Right. I mean, exactly. I have, you I don't have even a have good it. Prototype, and, yeah. and I have quotes from manufacturers. I mean, I'm ready to do this. <laughs> right. You know, we're going to do this. Honest. Yeah, but, right. uh, it's amazing. It really is amazing that that. Uh, that um, is this is possible. That it's incredible. I mean, if you look at look at the projects on Kickstarter. I mean, there was a 3D printer that did three million dollars. Yeah, wow. in, in 30 days or something. It's, it's yeah. astounding. I know. It, it, it's astounding. It's like it, the it's like the MakerBot guys. You know, right. when, they, when they came out of the gate with theirs, it's it's just yeah. it's really blown up. I mean, now, and, and to me, it, it's ideal because you you solve you know two steps of the process. You know, getting the money and figuring out the market. You know, and it's all in one. You know, and you don't have to. Uh, have some big fat cat with a cigar running your life to do it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's right. <laughs> I'm the fat cat. The, right. <laughs> you got 3,500 little cigarettes or whatever. <laughs> My boss is a jerk, I'll tell you. <laughs> I, just, I work for the same guy. <laughs> but that's just true. I mean, to me, it's all See, anybody could do anything, it seems. I mean, look all the idiots that are doing things and are successful. You know, we've all worked for those idiots. You know, so here's a chance to be your own idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Everybody right. has a chance to be there. Everybody gets their 15 minutes of idiocy. <laughs> right.
<laughs> and it costs hardly nothing, right? Well, so it, it's a kitchengoose.com. That's where we find it. It's like twenty-five dollars. And if you don't get it now, man, you won't be the first person in your neighborhood <laughs> to scramble eggs within the egg. You sc they're scrambled inside. <laughs> That's right. So if you're curious, and and you want to be the first one. Go to Kickstarter and check it out. Right. <laughs> well, actually, kitchengoose.com will get you the Kickstarter. That's right. That's right. And, and, uh, and actually, the video you did, you said this is your first video you've done, too. You know, I mean, it's a gorgeous video you have, so you, at least watch the video because you, you'll see some, some classy guy you know, who did a classy video, and that's important to see for anybody. Well, you're a delight. Thank you so much for being there and sharing your enthusiasm and, and sharing your golden goose, a hey, kitchen goose, <laughs> kitchengoosecom.com, whatever, lays the golden eggs. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. It's, it's been truly an honor. It's been great talking to you. <laughs> My pleasure.